We are here for GSW Anarchy. Our pre show match Shooting Star Players defeats Texas Hangman with a Shooting Star Press. Only got 15. Not great, but it's a pre match. This is just to make sure that the crowd likes both competitors, and they do. We start off the actual show with Death's Touch coming out. He says, fuck it. Boneyard, I've beat you once. May have beat me at the underground, but tonight, me and you, let's run it back. Boneyard comes down to the ring, doesn't even say anything, just throws the title on the ground. And Boneyard makes the defense, he only got 39. Death Touch couldn't get the repeat win as Boneyard chokes down him. Death Touch, he was a champion, and he got a surprising upset. But this year, Boneyard's come back with a vengeance, it seems. And then, we have Omar. He's back from injury. He's ready to go. And he's about to call out Boneyard after winning the title. He's like, Boneyard, I just saw what you did. You dismantled Death Touch. And now you got to take on, but before you can finish, the music of CZCW legend, Remy Sky hits. Remy is here in Grim SoCal, and he has a challenge for anyone in that, and he wants to challenge everyone in this locker room to prove that he still has it, and I guess that means he's starting with Omar. The C vs Jeff Hardy takes on Omar, and he wins with a Skydiver, he has a 57, and the crowd don't like Omar on his comeback, which you hate to see. But yes, Remy Sky is here in Grim SoCal. We have Brown Pride defeating the Lone Star Crew when Latino Fear beat Public Enemy with a border cross. Uh, in the match, Brown Pride beat the shit out of Papa Swole before the match with their baseball bats so that he couldn't interfere. And then, well, with Mexico's, with Mexico's Finest? Yeah, with Mexico's Finest fucking with the Lone Star Crew. It was inevitable that they would get the loss. So Los Guerrilleros bounce back after Latino Fears lost last week. And now Froshaw and Buster Cap are back. Buster Cap is still adamant that Froshaw is his bitch. But before Buster Cap can go on his rant about how Froshaw is a gay cunt, Froshaw calls him off this time. He's like, look Buster, I was the first ever champion of this business. Doesn't mean I'm... Grim's bitch. He's not my pimp, okay? That means I earned it. I'm here fair and square. I won my titles. I won the King California Cup. And I beat you last week. Sure, I'm giving you a rematch. But I'm not just Grim. I'm not Grim's bitch, Buster. Okay? I'm not. No. Just because you have been able to get your career off the ground. And I'm touted for next to be the next big thing in my character. Doesn't mean you can call me a bitch. And well, Buster Cap gets his redemption. He hits, for sure, is about to hit the frog splash off the top rope to win the match. You know, put Buster Cap and this rivalry down once in a for all. When some extremely attractive, by the way, woman appears from the crowd, pushing for sure off the Top rope, making him land into on like onto a chair that they had already in the match. This allowed Buster Cap to get him up, hit him with the Mafia kick to get the win. So this storyline continues thanks to the debuting Marina Del Rey. Then we have Papa Swall versus Isatoric, and Isatoric actually retains his title with a double arm DDT after Mexico's finest came in and clocked Papa Swall with a baseball bat over the head. So, Los Guerrilla Arrows are beating Lone Star Crew and Papa Swole tonight. They won the tag match, and then they stopped Papa Swole from winning the West Coast title. Then, in a tables match, we see, just like how he did to Kani La at the underground, he set up power bombs Raheem off the top rope through a table in a tables match. Raheem promised he would be getting revenge before his... Uh, manager, but that didn't go so well. 
And then we have the debuting Yuta Asono. He's here with Chani. And Yuta can't really talk, so Chani's doing it for him. She's saying, this hunk, this guy, he's here. And he's going to be the biggest star in wrestling. But right now, he's come to grace your presence. So treat him like a star, because he's going to be, be bigger and more famous than any MC that you've seen. Yuta motherfucking Asono. Which leads us to Aces High and Aces High, Kelly Slake, Mobstar and Gravedigger having a pr promo battle which leads to a tag match. Long Beach Crew get their fourth defense as Kelly Slake is the GOAT. A great 50 arena match there. Mobstar was off his game a bit. But yes, two of the, the best the two best tag teams in the company have a great match. 54, boosts up pop. Um, Aces and Kelly Slick are really good. And then who else? Remy. Remy. I'm hoping that Remy doesn't do a shit ton of cocaine in the back or something. I pray. But yeah, that's GSW Anarchy. BB and Boneyard are destroyed. Death Touch and Raheem in the last two shows. I don't really know how these two are going to bounce back from that. Buster Cat, he has his manager, Melina. She helped him beat Fro Shaw. So this is going to keep going. I wonder if Grim himself is going to get involved to dispel Buster Cat's proclaims, shall we say, of favoritism. Yuda Sona is also here, as we saw. We wonder what he has left. Remy Scott. He's in Groot SoCal. The CZW legend. So many interesting things going on. And I forgot to give Shane a gimmick. Um, we'll go with... Turns out Sex Appeal gets a lot, like, rated down a lot more than I thought it did. For some reason, I've always been mildly, like, mildly penalized. I guess they're just not over enough, so they got like 20s. It is what it is. That was matches. What was sex appeal angles? Overall, limited. I thought it was a mild Tony, but it's not. Makes sense. We lost three grand, but we did come third. But now we have. I don't like how. Does everything have 2020 on it? Because I took it off Anarchy. Yeah, it does. I don't like that. Now we'll go with this. GSW Beneath the City is what we'll have next. On that card, you can expect Fro Shaw and Buster Cap to have some sort of alter alter like altercation. Remy Sky to fall, to do something, as well as BB. Death Touch is still good. Okay, BB and Boneyard to pull something. So they they're gonna keep going on this great run that they've had in GSW. Uh, 